Okay, in this video we're going to talk about mid-segments, and we're going to talk about mid-segments specifically in triangles. And there's some interesting properties and characteristics that we can come up with using mid-segments. Okay, so what is a mid-segment? Uh, basically, when you go to a side of a triangle and you cut it exactly in half, the mid-segment is that point which divides that side into two equal halves. Okay, so for example here I would describe it as AE, line segment AE is congruent or equal to line segment EB, which makes point E the mid-segment, or the midpoint rather, excuse me the midpoint of line segment AB. Okay, so this and this really are just two ways of saying the same thing. Now here's an interesting characteristic of mid-segments. When you connect one mid-segment of a triangle to the other mid-segment of that same triangle to a different side, right? And I know that these, I know that point D, for example, is the midpoint of AC because of these slash marks, right? So when I connect those two mid segments, this line, line DE, I'm just writing characteristics here, line DE is parallel, and I use parallel with these symbols right here, to line segment CB. Okay, so that's one thing that I know. I also know that since it is the mid-segment of the side, that I can actually calculate the line segment CB, and it's basically twice as much as the smaller one. So if I were to ask the question, if I know that DE is 30, and they connect the mid-segments of the triangle, that means when I don't have the mid-segment, this side is actually 60. So CB is 60 units or whatever, you know, inches, units, feet, whatever I happen to use, okay? So interesting characteristic, right? So when I actually uh, find the mid segments of this side, creates two parallel lines, and that this mid segment is half the size of that following mid segment, the one that's missing. Okay, L let me try that again with a different example and maybe get the idea a little bit better. So let me just move this one up here. So what do I know here? I know that, for example, line segment HK, this one right here, is congruent to KJ. Now notice I didn't put the slash marks here, but I actually have the indication written out over here. After I see this, I can go over here if I wanted to help myself. I can just go ahead and do that, right? I know that IL is equal to LJ, again, which makes point L the midpoint of IJ. So that's something I could actually say. Now again, I know that this is equal to this. Notice I'm using two slash marks here instead of one because this is not equal to this one. This one's equal to a new side, which is this side here. So here's my question. Can I figure out what the distance is for K L. If I know that HI is 16, right? The, the opposite side, the missing side, so to speak, the one that's not actually in the midpoints, the one that doesn't have the midpoint, but I can connect these two midpoints here. And if you said it's half the size and that it's 8, you're absolutely correct. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Midpoints actually mid create uh, two equal halves or whatever midpoints that you're connecting, right? And you can actually find out something about the opposite side that still does not have any uh, marks in terms of mid segments at all. All right. I hope that was helpful to you.